In a momentary calm, blades are sworn together, vowing to bring about the restoration of peace and order. The year is 190, and the Han Empire falters on the brink of destruction. Brought low by corrupt eunuchs, and strong-armed by the despot Dong Zhuo. The fires of war erupt across a once peaceful realm. In the growing chaos, rebellions rise, and the Emperor's voice is drowned out by the tyrant's roar. The land suffers. Yet though they band together against a common foe, such a fragile alliance cannot hold forever. Be watchful for fate's gifts. Liu Bei sees chaos in the face of Dong Zhuo and will not rest until the tyrant's corruption is uprooted and the Han Dynasty restored. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. In the pyre, the Han falters. Yet the light of the dynasty still simmers in the hearts of its last descendants. Liu Bei swore an oath with his brothers. They pledged their lives. They will defend the Han. Nobody else can. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turban thousands strong began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Yet despite the victory of China's ills, warrior Lu Bu at his In response to Dong Zhuo's a coalition of war rose up, led by the Grand Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an, raising the old capital Luo Yang to the ground as he fled. It is now the year 190 CE, and the coalition has all but collapsed. Warlords on all sides have seen opportunities to build their own fortunes from the chaos. Yellow turban remnants still stalk the lands, seeking the age of the yellow sky, whilst soldiers of fortune feel the change of fate on the wind and strike out on their own. The scales shift and China hangs in the balance. Luo Yang lies in ruin, my lord. This tyranny is barbaric. What of the people? 
Dong Zhuo has fled west to Chang'an, with the young Emperor Xian his captive. He holds my nephew at sword point. The coalition delays and wastes time. You are poised, ready to strike now. But yellow turbans and bandits still persist. There must be justice. The people deserve peace. Your sworn brothers are ready to fight. Their oaths were bound long ago. Dong Zhuo's treason must face justice. We are arrows on the wind, my lord. We fly wherever you command. Under one banner. Justice has shown us the way. I am not a cruel man. I grant you this boon. Destiny awaits. Righteousness guides our arms. Strike true! Truth has won out today. It will prosper for the better under my rule. These are our terms. A productive meeting. Thank you. Virtue begats justice.
with heaven! Yeah! We must be humble in victory. It would be prudent to occupy this place. Fortune favors the vigilant. Not always the answer. Your choice. Consider the path. You will find friendship in this. We have achieved the intended result. Towards unity. 